Lip. Hey, Jim, you have a keyword on your resume that I was looking for, so you must be the perfect candidate for this job. There's I nothing. believe you are. Hello? Jim, baby, quit your job now and work for my company. We will feed you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No, How much you. money are we making now? Hello? It's your favorite recruiter calling. I think you're playing hard to get with me. Ah, uh, I can't get any work done because all of these recruiters keep calling me. And yet, on the other hand, am I missing out on any opportunities? Hmm, I know. It's time to put a robot to work. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, I'm Jim Stroud. This is the Jim Stroud Show. Welcome to the Jim Stroud Show. Yeah. Okay, let's imagine that you have a uh, the type of skill set that recruiters salivate over, say... Uh, I don't know, cybersecurity or data analysts or some job like that. Anyway, let's say it's imagine that recruiters are constantly calling you about new opportunities to the point where you can't even get your work done because recruiters keep calling you. Well, at that point, it might be time to put a robot to work. What do I mean by that? Imagine this. On your resume that you have posted online or on your blog or whatever, uh, you encourage recruiters to contact you all the more and you invite them to contact you uh, via Facebook. And when they do, this happens. This is the Facebook page of a very cool guy <laughs> that I met recently. I was referred to him by a friend, uh, Oscar. Oscar, what's up? Okay, enough of that. Um, this, as I said, this is his Facebook page. Um, look what happens when I click send message. Click send message, and so I say hello or something similar, like so. Hit send, and what do you know? A little message pops up. Oops, let me get out of that. That wasn't what I wanted. All right, this little message pops up, and it says, uh, Hey, Jim, what are you interested in about Will? His career, his development, his latest articles. Uh, if I mouse over this little arrow here, I see... Uh, I can see things like stuff he likes, interests, pastimes, favorite apps, things like that. Or I can choose connect with Will, have a live chat, get social, current location, whatever. I won't go through all of these. I'll let you do that when you reach out to him. Uh, his Facebook page is facebook.com slash hello simbot. But let me show you the thing that interests me the most. Uh, here, when I click on career... He gives me these different options. Now, I'm doing it here from his Facebook page, but I could easily go over to Messenger, which I think I will, uh, and click that. Yes, I like this because it's a much better screen. Okay, so I clicked on the career link, uh, and it shows searching memory banks. Here we go. Choose an option below. I can see what's he doing What's he doing right now. Uh, find out how he developed his expertise and unearthing talent because uh, he's a recruiter technology, that type of thing. So I see different categories that I can explore about uh, Will. Let me just go to click on the first one here. Uh, where is he at right now? I click view and he says that huh, he's at the INC research. That's where he's working at right now. So where to next, Jim? He asked me. Let's click on his ideal job. Let's see if I want to recruit him. So the really excites Will is helping businesses be more creative with their recruitment through technology. He's interested in tech talent roles, blah, blah, blah. Pretty cool. Let's see, areas of interest. Let me click that. And as you can probably tell right now, he's into messaging and bot space and so on. Um, I think this is really, really cool. So if I wanted to connect with Will after going through through all of this, let's see, connect with Will. Uh, home menu. Oh, nope. Ha. <laughs> Says, well, hello there. That's 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 kind of corny there, Will, but okay. Uh, <laughs> he says I can I can uh, connect with him through Twitter, Facebook Messenger, or LinkedIn, or start a live chat with him all together. Ha! <laughs> Isn't that cool? Have Have you seen that before? I thought that was so cool. So cool. In fact, I feel inspired to detail three reasons why you should modify your resume. 
Uh, one, it is efficient. By setting up a robot to answer frequently asked questions, uh, you save time to do more productive things. Uh, two, saves time for all concerned. It helps the recruiter to know what you want, and as a result, they will either A, stop approaching you with opportunities that you would have refused, or B, pursue you further because what they have to offer matches your interests. Then three, great first impression. Great first impression. It will surely impress the recruiters who approach you and place you in even higher regard in their eyes. You know, there's a, um, there's a lot of talk about robots taking jobs away, and <laughs> that's certainly true in a lot of cases. Um, but robots and automation can actually make your life better. And I think I proved it uh, with this, this point. These past two weeks have been glorious because I got to present and spend time with my friends at SourceCon in Anaheim, California, and at Sourcing Summit Europe in Amsterdam. Between the two, so much learning, so much fun. I am a blessed man.